So all of the apps that I'm going to be giving you today are apps that I have used or, you know, still use to this day. Okay. So they're tried and true. They're trusted. Hello, honey bun. Hello, my honey buns. It's your gal, Lou. And on today's episode of We Need to Talk, we are going to be discussing some apps that can help you out in your time of need. Um, and I've seen videos like this in the past because there were times when I got on YouTube, like searching up loans and, you know, different things like that, apps to borrow money. Honestly, a lot of the videos that I saw did not help me at all. Um, and they were sponsored not to put any shame to sponsored videos, but the downside of the sponsored videos is the fact that if someone is getting paid to do it, it might not benefit you as much. You know what I'm saying? Some of it is legit and some of it is a fluke. You know, you got to dig through and pick through. But I can assure you that this video is not sponsored. The first app that I'm going to do <clears throat> is Possible. There's actually a few things that I like about Possible. Possible is a very beneficial app. So first and foremost, how the loans work on Possible. You know what? Before I get started on the loan. I would say out of all the apps possible probably requires the most information from you. Um, and when I say the most information, they do want you to upload a photo copy of your ID or your driver's license. And I'd say out of all the apps, this is the only one, I think this is the only one that required me to do that. Um, so that's what I mean when I say they require a little bit more, um, you know, details. All right. Now. Let's see. I'm on the app right now because I'm trying to see if I could pull up my most recent loan on here. Uh, I'm trying to pull up the details of the loan so I can show y'all. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. History statements and documents. Okay. So when I first started with Possible, they only gave me $50 and it gradually got bigger over time. So it went from 50 to 100 to 125, 250. And my most recent loan from them was 375. But what I will say is I know people that, you know, got on here. I just had someone get on here like a week or two ago and her very first loan was 375. So they're going to go based off of a few things. Of course, they want to see, you know, if you have any income coming in and things like that. And I believe that's why my first loan was so low because I didn't really have any proof of income, if I'm not mistaken, for that first loan, which was, yeah, that was a while ago. But yeah, so basically they're going to ask for the same things that most apps ask for, and they are going to want access to your bank account um, through, I think they go through Plaid, but it's pretty much similar as the rest of these apps. So I would say if you're one of those people that's super skeptical about putting your information in online, then go ahead and click off this video now because when it comes to getting money borrowed or a loan from anybody, you're going to have to enter your information, period. Um, so that's just that. But yeah, so they approved me with the highest loan so far as 375. And basically how this works is you do four payments, okay? Now Possible does add a little interest, but it's nothing too crazy. Um, and it's not a payday loan or it's not a, you know, where you have to pay them back the full amount when you get paid. You're gonna be paying them over time, over the course of, um, let me see. It's four payments and they're, yeah, they're spread they're spread out, I believe, every two weeks. Um, so that's what I love about this. You don't have to pay everything back so soon. Now, let me tell you the next thing that I love, love, love about this app. This app is the only one out of all the loan apps or whatever that I've tried that actually boosts your credit. So once you like this is a real legitimate loan. Once you pay your full amount off, 
you'll see that your credit has went up, or at least for me, my credit went up. Um, and I was able to see that through Credit Karma. After the last payment um, or the last loan that I closed out with them, my credit went up 55 points. Now, I didn't notice that happening with the first few loans from them. So, you know, that's maybe over time of building rapport they started reporting. I'm not too sure. But all I know is it ended up boosting my credit 55 points. So we can't be mad at that. So the next one is Dave. Now, I've been using Dave for years. Um, and the highest amount that I have borrowed from Dave is $200. So Dave is more of like a a payday type of loan, whatever you want to call it. Um, let me see. One second, y'all. I'm trying to get access to the app. On Dave, they do have where you can like sign up for banking with them. I don't do none of that online banking with them. I literally just do the advances and um, they call it a cash advance. And they say that qualified users get up to 250, which is pretty much correct because that's the highest amount that I've ever been able to take out from Dave is 250. Now, the amounts, normally when you first get on here, they start you off a little low. But like I said, it'll go based off of your income and your rapport with them. So I remember, I believe I started off with like $50 from them. And then it started going up to like $75, $100, $150, $200, $250. And these amounts fluctuate. So it fluctuates based off of, you know, your money spending habits, also, how much income you have coming in is going to determine. Now, when you take an advance from Dave, you're going to owe it back to them on your next payday. So basically two weeks, they go based off of like two weeks. Now, I don't know if they have a way around doing it every two weeks because I know some people only get paid once a month. But um, I believe when you sign up, you have the option to tell them how often you get paid. So if it's once a month, then you should be able to enter that as well. But yeah, as far as my experience with Dave, it's every two weeks. Um, well, I don't want to say every two weeks because it's one payment. So let's say you borrow $100. You're going to pay that back to them um, two weeks later. Okay. And then after 24 hours of them receiving your payment back, you can borrow again. So that's what I love about Dave. Um, you know, this is perfect for if you need a little extra money for groceries or a little phone bill or, you know, whatever, some little money to go out with, emergency, gas, whatever it is, it comes in handy for that. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to do is earning. Y'all, I I have like a love-hate relationship. <laughs> I have like a love-hate relationship with earning because uh, in my experience, okay, so what I will say is with earning, uh, I say earning, earning, I feel like is a, their process of like trying to verify how you get paid. Sometimes it kind of sucks, like I would say earning sucks for people that work from home. However, depending on like, you know, the company you're with or if you work for a company or if you work for yourself, it's just, it's so many different things. So all I can say is with earning is give it a shot. <laughs> um, I have used it plenty of times over the years, but like I said, they, they pay attention to, you know, your income and how it's coming in and out. Let me see if I can pull up a history. Okay, so I guess because since I haven't used earning in a while, I'm not able to like pull up. But what I can say is I believe the most that they ever, excuse me, let me take out was like $300 or $400. But with earning, they um, their system is a little bit different. So it's not all at once. So normally they'll give you a limit of up to how much you can take out each day. So my limit was $100 that I could borrow from them per day. Now your max, they give you a max amount. So you can, you have your daily max and then you have like your pay period max. 
let me explain the difference between these two because for a while when I was using earning, I didn't understand it. So I wasn't like taking full advantage of it. So your daily max could be $100, but your pay period max or whatever they call it um, could be $300. Which means that you'll take your $100 out on, say, for instance, Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. And then Thursday, you can go in and take a, another 100 Then Friday, you can take another one out. But after Friday, you cannot borrow any more until that $300 is paid back when you get paid. Okay, and just like Dave, it's going to go based off of your paydays and they're going to take all that money back from you on your paydays. Also, something else I want to mention is on these apps, they do have where you can tip them um, to help other people, as they say, but you literally do not have to tip them. You can go in and customize that amount to zero. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Now, the next app that I want to tell you about is cash app okay yes honey cash app does let you borrow money now everyone does not have this option but the only way to find out is to go into your cash app and check so i guess i was like one of the first people i know to have access to this option but over the course of a year or so other people that i know have gained access to this and so how you can check to see if you can borrow on cash app when you first get on cash app you want to go to and i'm probably going to do like a little screen record or something you want to go to the money page yeah so you go to the money page and then you scroll down and under more ways to add money, you're going to see, if you have this option available, you're going to see borrow. Okay. And um, my limit changes. So like right now, my limit is $100. I want to say when I first started borrowing from them, it was like 20, then it went up to 45, 50, um, you know, so on and so forth. And um, the way how you pay them back is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, their payments are also spread out similar to, what's the first app I said? Similar to possible. So this is not, now you can choose your payment date. So you can actually, you have the option to choose to pay it back earlier. Um, you also have the option to like make your payments shorter if you don't want to just spread it out so far so i love the cash app borrow system because they have a lot of different options and then also over time as you build rapport with them and they see a lot of money coming in and out of your cash app they kind of maximize the amounts that you can borrow so i love that one thing i will say with all of these apps is that let's say you miss a payment or something or you know they try to take a payment out of your account and it fails that will affect the amount that they allow you to borrow the next time. But even if your amount drops, as long as you pick back up and stay on top of the payments, make sure the money is in your account, then they'll increase the amount again, okay? Um, but yeah, so that is the cash out borrow. And hopefully this video helps someone out. Also, let me turn that off. Also, if you're interested in some more tips about how you can get help with money and finances, let me know because, listen, I have a lot of ways. I know a lot of ways when it comes to surviving, baby got it down packed. So now it's time for us to go from surviving to thriving. But if you need a little something, 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 this is going to help you. But yeah, y'all, like I know all types of different apps and things um i even have a a list of uh what is it buy now pay later apps and things that i've used over the years so just let me know if y'all like more videos like this i believe this is like my first video like this <laughs> but um it's so exciting and yeah hopefully this helps someone i'm gonna go ahead and check out now because i just be eh, i be rambling blah 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 blah, blah.